What is Kaizo Shoujin Shibiban Man? That's a sentence I never thought I'd say out loud. I've known about this series for quite some time, though I really haven't played much of it. And thanks to the good folks at Retrobit, we're going to get access to the fourth entry in the series, which is called Shockman Zero here in the States, or that's what it's being uh, translated to, so to speak, uh, also known as Shibiban Man Zero overseas. And there's going to be a release for this uh, with a physical cartridge. It's the first time that's ever been released to North America and PAL territory, so that's pretty exciting. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a big sucker for retro bit games. Um, here's just a few of the ones that I own. Uh, this is the Hammer and Harry Concrete Collection and Undercover Cops. And I, the, full disclosure, this is definitely a, uh, a, a promotional video uh, that I'm doing for retro bit. Uh, but it's there's a good reason for it uh, in in this circumstance. I, I generally don't tend to do all of these that uh, that that come across my plate, but this one in particular I got really excited about uh, for n a number of reasons. So first off, uh, Shockman Zero was only released on the Satellaview on the Super Famicom in 1994, and this game uh, it's it's interesting because. Uh, the Satellaview you had to is basically like a modem peripheral that you could use with your Super Famicom only in Japan and essentially you just like download games off of it. So the games uh, tend to be a, a little bit on the smaller side uh, just because it's it's got to fit into into the game. So this is an opportunity uh, to f get a physical cart uh, licensed and everything. Um, for a game that would honestly be considered now uh, like lost uh, in, in terms of uh, it, it only being available through emulation. And there has been translations for this game, fan translations uh, for this title, but this is going to be the first time that this game is being uh, licensed in the uh, North American territory specifically uh, where the game is getting a full uh, non-fan translation, so it's going to be an actual licensed translation. And uh, what's really cool is Retrobit is one of those companies that really kind of goes above and beyond. And it's one of the reasons why uh, I wanted to partner with Retrobit because I, I remember going back and forth with uh, them, talking to them about like how they create these games and how, how they make them. And everything is licensed through the either the original developers, if if that opportunity persists, or the uh, the whoever owns the IP. Uh, the game has save features as well, so it's battery backed, and uh, they're one of the few companies that uses uh, both NES and Super NES five volt chips. Uh, so that way they won't damage consoles. You may have seen uh, some games that get released and you end up hearing these horror stories about how uh, they're damaging original consoles. Well, the, you don't have to worry about that with uh, Retrobit, which is great. Let's talk a little bit about the actual game in and of itself. So Shockman Zero is the fourth game in the Shibiban Man franchise, or also known as the Shockman franchise. Again, the first and third games never came out uh, to North America. Uh, the second only available on TurboGrafx-16. And so you could play as one of uh, two different characters, Raita or Azuki. And so Raita uses like more physical attacks, like punches and kicks, and Azuki uses a sword. So the two different play styles there. Uh, there's eight different stages, and uh, you're essentially trying to save the city from a group called the BB Dan Group, uh, who are the bad guys. There's some really kind of questionable stuff in here, like there's a bondage joke. Uh, during one of the cutscenes, um, there's this uh, kind of other character that you run into who is kind of like the Dr. Light of the group, where he's like trying to, there's also a bit of a Contra Hard Corpse vibe where like you're going after, uh, you know, trying to trying to go after whoever is, uh, you know, e e each stage has like an intermission, so to speak, where uh, you run into your, uh, your Dr. Light character and you're like, oh, what do I do? What do I gotta do now? Okay, I gotta go to this level. So then there's like a little intermission where you can go into the next level. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Satellaview service ended in 2001, which is surprising. Like, I can't believe that it lasted that long. Uh, so these games, or this, particularly this game, 
uh, has been considered lost media, so to speak. Only available on the emulation. I've played it before on emulator, and uh, it's a really cool game. You're seeing footage of it uh, now, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I, I will say it's a bit repetitive, so don't get me wrong. You know, if, if that's not your bag, then you may want to skip this one. Uh, but it is like an action beat em up kind of style game, platformer, action platformer. So if you like Mega Man, this is kind of like Mega Man with punches and kicks or swords, so to speak. Um, and you can level up in the game too, like as you're playing, you kind of level up so that way you get like a larger health bar and stuff like that. So it's, it's cool. Uh, I wanted to talk about the actual release itself through Retrobit. It's a gorgeous release. Uh, so first off, uh, one of my favorite artists that I've been following on Twitter forever, Dan Makoman, is doing the uh, box art and the uh, label art. It's an orange cartridge, which orange is one of my favorite colors, so I'm sold right there. And it's, it's it, lo it looks so good. So I'm really excited to get this one. I think you guys should pick this one up too, uh, just so you can experience a Teleview game for the first time in uh, North America. Uh, it launches for $59.99 and I think it's £64.99 pounds, uh, in uh, PAL territories. Or, uh, but yeah, for here, uh, us North Americans, uh, $59.99, which is a pretty solid deal. Uh, you get a magnetic flap. Uh, a lot of their games have like a magnetic flap uh, to open so you can see the inside art. Uh, it looks great. Uh, I'm really excited and stoked to get this one. So uh, let me know in the comments below, have you played this one before, this uh, Shockman Zero? And uh, if you haven't, or if you have, are you possibly going to pick up uh, Shockman Zero? Let me know down below. And uh, that's it, that's all I got for now, guys. Stay tuned for more on the channel. And uh, I know I don't normally cover these types of games. I know I'm so like specific to Castlevania, but I love action platformer games, and this one uh, really kind of sells me on uh, on, on supporting it. So thanks so much guys and uh, we'll see you later.